Makachev's double champ dream shattered. Islam Makachev is reeling after Bilal Muhammad's stunning upset over Leon Edwards. The Dagestani's plans to conquer two divisions have been put on ice. Uh, I saw this fight. Honestly, Bilal don't give him like any chance. Smash him everywhere. He make us nervous a little bit. Gives him a couple position, and now Bilal is a champion. And this guy broke my plans, you know, to be double champ. <laughs> But I am really happy for him and uh, happy for his country. He deserves it. Makachev wants Holloway next. Islam Makachev is calling out Max Holloway. The lightweight champ is done playing around and wants an even bigger fight. But all the fans want to see you get on the Blessed Express. Will you consider the Max Holloway fight if and when he gets through to Boria? Why not? Because I already beat Arman. If you see, put him next, no problem. But not excited much for me. I need some new name, new challenger. I already beat Arman. If Max won't, let's do it. BMF Bell. BMF, I don't need this belt, but Max is a good name, you know, big name. It's gonna be a crazy fight for defense. Makachev faces injury setback. Islam Makachev is currently sidelined due to an injury. The lightweight champion is awaiting medical clearance to determine the extent of the setback and its impact on his upcoming schedule. It's good, it's uh, small things. It's uh, part of this, part of this sport. I have small injury right now. It's, uh, I cut my half ligament and uh, we'll see. Next 10 days I have to wear these things Doctor will make decision. Makachev takes shot at Cormier's weight. Islam Makachev didn't hold back when taking aim at Daniel Cormier's weight during a recent Q&A. The lightweight champ joked about needing DC's meal plan if he ever moves up to middleweight. Who's harder to wrestle, Khabib or DC? Uh, too big guy right now. He's here in Abu Dhabi as well, DC. I not see this guy, maybe tomorrow. I think he's eating now. <laughs> <laughs> If you had to go up to middleweight, it means eating all of the best food. Like, what, what kind of food would you be eating? If I move to the... I have to ask DC his... <laughs> <laughs> his meal plan. Makachev and Bilal, an unexpected hangout? Islam Makachev and Bilal Muhammad were spotted chilling together. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> it's all right. Oh, all right, good. good, how you feeling? How's your wrist? Grab, he grab under. Does it work? Oh. For us, this is the greatest picture you've seen this week. I teach you, brother. I teach you. <laughs> I gotta learn. I gotta this learn. is new. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then belt down, belt up. <laughs> Perfect. Usman and Muhammad beefing. Kamaru Usman and Bilal Muhammad are going at it on social media. This rivalry is heating up fast. He tweeted, Islam is a good man. Had to teach him how to hold the belt. Muhammad fires back at Usman. Bilal Muhammad isn't holding back in his war of words with Kamaru Usman. The welterweight took aim at Usman's performance against Leon Edwards and even threw in a dig about losing his belt. He responded, he also taught me how to clean your fingerprints off it. Makachev, Tony should retire. Islam Makachev is pulling for Tony Ferguson this weekend, but believes it's time for El Kukui to hang up the gloves. If uh, Tony Ferguson wins tomorrow, would you consider giving him a title shot? <laughs> Honestly, I want he win, you know, but it's time for him to retire it, but this guy is uh, still fighting, you know, this guy is crazy, you know. I wish him all the, all the best. Aspinall ready to rumble, steps in as Jones Miocic backup. Tom Aspinall is on high alert. The rising heavyweight star has confirmed he'll be the backup fighter for the highly anticipated John Jones vs. Stipe Miocic showdown. Aspinall is confident he could take on both champs in one night if needed. Bold words. I'm gonna be the backup for the fight if one of them pulls out. You better believe I'm in on, on an hour's notice if I need to. Really? Um, I'll, yeah, I'll take my opportunity while it's there. And I mean, I've worked. I, I should be the undisputed heavyweight champion. Everybody knows that now. This is not... Um, it's not just something I'm claiming that I've won off a fluke victory, but you know, my body of work over the last few years shows that I've took out every contender that there is at this point. And 
I should be the UFC heavyweight champion, undisputed or interim, whatever. I'm the best heavyweight in the world, and uh, I'll, I'll wipe out both of them guys in one night if I need to. Have you given up the idea of fighting Alex Pereira on this card? If Jones and Stipe happens, you're content to just be the backup? Yeah, mate, I'm fighting for the undisputed title next. And if that's against, I'll fight anybody for the undisputed title, but I'm not fighting for an interim again, mate. Yeah. When the, when, when, the, when the undisputed title's active, I'm not doing that, then I would be a bit of an idiot. I would be a mum there. Just so I'm clear, are you willing to wait for your next fight to be next summer, which would be the likely time that Jones would come back if he wins in November? Are you happy to wait for a year to fight next? I'd rather not. But if I've got no choice, then I've got no choice, have I? And you don't I mean, I'd, rather, you don't I'd rather keep the ball rolling and stay active. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm also not willing to, you know, lie, lie down for anybody and be a mug and risk it again because I've just done that. Jones bulking up for heavyweight bout. John Jones is packing on the pounds. The heavyweight champ revealed he's currently weighing in at a hefty 250 pounds as he prepares for his heavyweight bout. Mokiv, accused of bad behavior. Steve Erseg is firing shots at Mohamed Mokiv, claiming the young fighter has an attitude problem. Erseg says Mokiv treats UFC staff poorly and comes across as entitled. This is shaping up to be a juicy feud. More understandable, but like getting a photo and then sucker punching him and getting your team in, and that's like unacceptable. Um, it's coward mentality, I think. And then the way he treats people, um, I don't know if fans get to see it, but I know, he just seems like he's a little entitled and thinks he's very important, which I don't particularly like, and obviously the UFC didn't like, so hopefully he grows from here and learns a lesson. Is that stuff that you've seen or just stuff you've heard about how he treats people? Is that something that, that's sort of like common knowledge amongst the, the, you know, the fighters in your division? I don't know if it's common knowledge. Um, I saw it when I fought on the same card as him, just the way he was treating the... Uh, uh, nutrition team and that sort of thing from the UFC um, and just like little things that's like disrespectful that yeah I thought was odd but he's a young kid hopefully you'll learn from the learn from yeah this moment I guess what is Uncle I versus Pereira off manager claims UFC has other plans this is a bombshell Magomed Ankalaev's camp is throwing cold water all over that potential firefight with Alex Pereira Ankalaev's manager is saying the UFC has a different path mapped out for Poatan and that his guy already has a fight booked. Magomed Ankalaev, да, по мнению многих, человек, который уже, ну, не должен драться ни в каком бою, кроме как чемпионским с Алексом Перейрой. Насколько велика вероятность, что до конца 24-го он всё-таки подерётся с Перейрой? Может быть, это даже произойдёт в Абу-Даби 26 октября. Я думаю, мы должны ожидать этот бой где-то в начале 25-го года. Этот бой произойдёт, должен произойти безусловно, потому что я с тобой соглашусь, Ankalaev Магомед должен драться ни за что, кроме как за титул, но, как я понимаю, у организации планы на Алекса Перейру немного другие, и поэтому то просто не застаиваться. У нас уже есть дата и есть бой, скоро там будет анонс, где и когда будет Магомед Анкалаев выступать. И вот после этого, я думаю, мы уже безусловно будем драться за титул. Это топовый соперник тоже? Да, это топовый соперник. PFL not interested in Mokiv. PFL president Ray Sefo has made it clear Mohamed Mokiv is not welcome in the promotion. Sefo claims the young fighter is a pain in the ass to deal with. This is not good news for Mokiv. UFC just publicly parted ways with Mohamed Mokiv. Is that somebody that the PFL would be interested in bringing in? Mohammed who? Makai. The undefeated flyweight? No, um, actually, you know, he, he's, I've spoken to people that, that is in the know and apparently he's just a pain in the ass to deal with. And so, um, no, we're not interested. Sandhagen promises apology to Khabib after beating Umar. Corey Sandhagen is pulling a fast one or making a bold prediction. The bantamweight contender says he'll apologize to Khabib Narmagomedov after defeating Umar Narmagomedov this weekend. This one's going to be interesting. I'm going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Umar and everything. Uh, grappling, striking. I'm going to prove that I'm better at every single area of this fight. I'm going to prove that I'm better than him. And on Saturday, I plan on shaking Khabib's hand. I plan on shaking Umar's hand and apologizing and saying I'm sorry that I had to beat you. You know, like, mm -hmm. go win a couple more fights and we can fight for the belt. That's yeah. how I see it in my head. That's how I've been seeing it in my head for the last 12 weeks. I stay consistent with my work, but that's a part of this. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe.